you've never made a regular habit of reading the Bible, where should you start? Well, if you're not a Christian yet and you're trying to evaluate the person and the claims of Jesus, I think I'd send you to the Gospel of Mark. It's the shortest of the Gospels, or perhaps the Gospel of John, that although it's the deepest of the Gospels with the most secondary meaning and depth to it, there's also an amazing level of simplicity to it. And you can get to know Jesus and his claims very clearly there in the Gospel of John. If you're a younger believer or one who's maybe perhaps been in the faith for a long time and never developed the daily habit of Bible reading, uh, I think what I'd say is to start with the Gospels. Maybe you'd start at the beginning of Matthew or beginning of Luke or any of the Gospels and, and be reading through the Gospels, perhaps all four. Uh, for me personally, I love dipping into some place in the Gospels daily to see Jesus directly and hear his words and his teaching and his claims, even as I supplement that with other things. And maybe if you're, young, if you're a young believer, I'd say add on the book of Psalms. You could start at the beginning of Psalms. You could read a psalm a day for about 150 days, assuming that maybe when you get to uh, Psalm 119, you spend several days going through Psalm 119, because it's a long psalm. So adding psalms to your gospel reading may be something to do in developing that habit. And as you go along, the ways that you could, you could bring in other parts of the Bible would be to start at some point in Genesis 1-1 and begin reading through the, the book of Genesis and those first five books of the Old Testament and then be able to move through the historical sections and eventually into probably some of the hardest sections for us uh, as Christians here in the 21st century to read and understand are the prophets at the end of the Old Testament. And then also at, at some point to be able to stir in the letters of the Apostle Paul, the story of the early church and the book of Acts, and into the book of Revelation, which next to the Old Testament prophets, uh, or maybe even more so, is hard for us to understand uh, today. So over the years, I love to have four different places where I'm kind of working through it, whatever interval and pace. The Old Testament history and prophets is one. Uh, the book of Psalms. Some people put Proverbs in there with Psalms. It's kind of something to work through regularly. Something daily from the Gospels to see and hear directly from Jesus in, in those Gospel narratives. And then uh, another place, working through the rest of the New Testament. 